when Cyprus needed emergency loans from the other Euro countries in March 2013. The Troika said as a condition the sale of the Greek branches of the Cypriot banks. What did that mean for the Cypriots? Well, that had catastrophic consequences for us because that made the losses of the Cypriot uh, banks even bigger. So that led to a bigger haircut for the Cypriot uh, depositors, which uh, meant, of course, that uh, this sale, which was a, a political decision to sell the branches in, in Greece, uh, meant that immediately the two biggest banks in Cyprus became insolvent. Therefore, those losses had to be covered by somebody. That meant that uh, the Greek depositors lost, uh, the, the Cypriot depositors lost their uh, money. The shareholders of the two banks lost all of their money. And the bondholders also lost all of their money. That amounts to over 20 billion worth of losses in a country that has a GDP of uh, 17 billion a year. But wasn't it sensible to insulate the Greek banking system from the Cypriot one? Otherwise Greece would have suffered a bank run the next day. Well, that it was a, a political decision. It may be sensible for somebody else, but for uh, the Cypriots, it not really in their best interests, because that meant that the losses that were suffered by the Cypriot banking branches in Greece were immediately transferred onto Cyprus. How that? Because uh, we gave away the branches in Greece for free. They were worth four billion, but uh, a decision was taken essentially on the European uh, level, on the European Union level, to uh, force us to sell those branches for 500 million. So when this decision was taken, we lost three and a half uh, billion euros. That meant that um, the bank that got the branches, Piraeus Bank, uh, made a profit of three and a half uh, billion euros. Uh, these losses were immediately borne by the Cypriot uh, depositors of the banks, whereas the Greek depositors of the Cypriot branches did not suffer any consequences. So a political decision was taken that the, the Greek depositors were more important than the Cypriot uh, depositors. But who exactly took this decision? The Eurogroup. The Troika, the Troika in Greece, and the Troika in Cyprus, together with the central banks. They took a decision, and I, I believe it was an, a decision to assist the Greek banking system on, uh, by bearing and taking all the losses onto the uh, Cypriot uh, banking system. Because I have to uh, point out that the bank, the Greek bank that uh, finally bought the Cypriot branches in the Piraeus, in, in Piraeus Bank. Bank, also had capital requirements. They had problems of themselves. Uh, the stress tests conducted by the European uh, Banking Association showed that uh, they had capital requirements of over two and a half uh, billion euros. We gave them three and a half billion. So they found themselves in 2013 with uh, positive capital of over one billion. So at that instance, they were saved, but uh, those losses were borne by the depositors in Cyprus. But do you really think this has been done on purpose? Intentional? It was done uh, with intention because of somebody decided on a political level that uh, Cyprus was much, much uh, less important than Greece. And uh, for this precise reason, uh, a decision was taken to do something in Cyprus that was never done to, in any other country that uh, required assistance uh, through the Eurozone. But zone. if you are right, that would mean that the Eurogroups, the Eurogroups finance ministers and their institutional officials decide on purpose to expropriate Cypriots and transfer the wealth to the Greek side? Well, a political decision was taken to, to, to do just that. They took the money from the Cypriot depositors and they gave it to a Greek bank. That is precisely what happened. In my view, it's one of the biggest uh, scandals in the history of the Eurozone. Some people made billions out of this transaction. It was, a, it was a transaction that was decided on a European Union level. The members of the board of the banks refused to sign these, uh, the papers for the transaction. It was a decision taken by the two Troigas and on a European Union level. And it was a decision that was intentional in that regard, in that they wanted to save, to assist a Greek bank 
and they didn't care what happened but didn't, to the Cypriot banking system. But didn't not also the, the, the Cypriot parliament and the Cypriot government agree to this deal? Yes, with a gun to our head. We were forced to agree to this deal because we were bankrupt. And the uh, argument was, unless you agreed to this, we're going to shut off uh, the emer emergency liquidity assistance that we give to your banks, and your banks will have to shut down, and all sorts of other problems will uh, uh, be born as a consequence of that uh, decision. But the, the corresponding law has been drafted here in Cyprus, or has it been drafted anywhere else? Well, the resolution law was a, a law drafted in Cyprus uh, by the um, uh, central bank here in Cyprus under the direction uh, of the European uh, Central Bank. So they used that law in order to haircut the Cypriot uh, deposits, was, which was something that was not done in any of the other countries that sought assistance from the European stability mechanism. The only place where they took people's money, where they took the pensions from the people that they were supposed to uh, save was Cyprus. It was, was not done in Spain or in Portugal or Greece or Ireland, only in Cyprus. It was the only occurrence where they took money from one European country and gave it to another European country. But what you say is a very strong allegation against the responsible ministers and officials from the other Euro countries and the ECB and the Commission. I'll, I'll be How do they <laughs> respond to this re allegation? And, and is anything, any investigation going on to prove this? Let me just be very clear. What happened in Cyprus was uh, daylight robbery, but on a state level. They took the money of the Cypriot depositors and gave it to a Greek bank. And it was a political decision. It was not in the best interests of our country. It was not in the best interests of the Cypriot banking system. It was not in the best interests of the uh, Cypriot uh, shareholders, bondholders, or depositors. So yes, it is a scandal in my, in my view, and it should be investigated, not only uh, here in Cyprus, but on a European level, because European institutions were involved, and I repeat, some people made billions out of this transaction. Pireos Bank, of course. The owner of uh, Pireos Bank, Mr. Uh, Salas, had non-performing loans with one of the banks that was sold, over 150 million in, in loans. Those loans were written off after the transaction. So we gave them our money. It's as simple as that. And do you demand compensation? We demand that uh, my party here in Cyprus has demanded that we should start a, a discussion in seeking to get this uh, money back, because this is not the money of uh, either the German shareholder, the German taxpayer, taxpayer or the French taxpayer. This is our money. They took our money and gave it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And they did this not to serve the best interests of Cyprus or the Cypriot uh, banking system. They did this in order to serve the best interests of a Greek bank. What do you think, or what do you know, about the role of the European Central Bank in this process? I think that their role is quite questionable, and it should be investigated. Uh, there is an investigation uh, conducted here in Cyprus, but it does not involve the European Central Bank, because we have no authority to do this. But what we have asked is for uh, an investigation to be conducted by the Attorney General here in order to examine how precisely this deal was negotiated and by whom. Uh, this investigation has not been uh, concluded as of uh, today. But it is, it has been begun. Well, I'm not even sure about that because nobody is giving us any information. Nobody wants to talk about this. Uh, nobody wants to talk about he this here in Cyprus and of course Nobody wants to talk about this in Greece, and nobody wants to talk this about this on a European level, mm -hmm. because it involves decisions taken on a European level. The decision to haircut the Cypriot deposits and to force us to sell the branches in Greece was a political decision. It has no financial merit whatsoever. So I think that these kind of political decisions in a in a democratic uh, organization, as uh, the European Union is, should be investigated. Mm -hmm. According to my sources, uh, an official from the ECB 
called uh, Phoebus Anastasia, was one of the main authors of the, the, the law, of the draft, which has been then presented to, to your parliament here. Um, have you been in contact with him? Well, um, I'm not sure if we're talking about the same individual, but a representative of the European Central Bank did appear before parliament, and he did try to explain what the the relevant uh, legislation would entail, mm -hmm. and uh, he did, uh, in fact, inform us about the consequences of the, of the haircut, of the resolution that would lead to haircut, but nobody inform informed us that uh, the assets of the uh, Cypriot uh, banks would be given to Perios Bank. This was never disclosed to Parliament, and when ac actually when the, the agreement was concluded, Everybody was telling us that uh, this was an agreement that was to the benefit of the, the banks and to the people of Cyprus. That is not the case. We lost three and a half billion euros. And how then did you discover what really happened? Well, it was, uh, it's obvious. It's right there in the audited accounts. Perios Bank, after they took the, the Cypriot branches, had to disclose that they got three and a half billion euros in profit. It's right there in their audited accounts. Mm -hmm. If those three and a half or 3.4 billion euros would have stayed on the balance sheets of the Cypriot banks, what would that have meant for the Cypriots and, and their losses? Well, how much is the 3.4 billion in relation to the general losses? It, uh, it would certainly mean that the haircut of the deposit would have been much, much less. Perhaps even one of the two banks would have avoided uh, resolution because when they were forced to right. sell mm -hmm. these, uh, to give these assets to Berios Bank, immediately the Bank of Cyprus here became insolvent. Mm -hmm. And therefore it went into resolution and it had to haircut the deposit of the depositors in order to uh, raise capital and uh, continue working. Mm -hmm. I was told that this legal advisor or official of the ECB who drafted the law, Mr. Atanasio, um, used to be partner of a law firm which had advised before Piraeus Bank. Has this potential conflict of interest been revealed to the parliament here? Never. That has never been revealed to us. Mm -hmm. What we, we do know is that Mr. Provopoulos, the then governor of the central bank in Greece, also used to work for Piraeus Bank. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. They took our money. They stole the money. It's just not my. It's not my money. They stole the money of the of the people. No, but the, whole the pension. Pension. People lost their pensions. Mm. People that saved up money throughout their lives. And a lot you know, of entrepreneurs lost their working capital. No. We had a deeper recession through the haircut yeah. than we would have uh, ordinarily have had. Uh, decision. The decision made things worse for the for the country. The, uh, the, the Troika had an assessment, the mm -hmm. European Commission had an assessment regarding the recession of, the, of our economy before the, the haircut, and it, it was much, much uh, less. After the haircut, we have the biggest percentage of non-performing loans in the history of banking because they took our money. They took the money of the businesses, so they yeah. cannot function. Yeah. And today, uh, the discussions here in Cyprus is how we're going to find ways to uh, take people's homes, take the properties of uh, businesses in order to cover these huge holes in our economy. Mm -hmm. Because they took over 8 billion euros from the Cypriot economy and sent it to Greece. Mm -hmm. And I got it right, you're head of the, the finance, finance, committee. finance Committee. Since when? I've been uh, the chairman of the Finance Committee since uh, 2009. Okay, so we have all lived all the period. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was there when the, the collapse began. Yeah, yeah. And, and your party at first supported this government, no? the current one? Or yes. Or helped them bring it in power. And now, but, yeah. but now you're in opposition? or Now we're in opposition. We left the coalition of the government mm -hmm. uh, so they for other issues. Not have, the have they left the, lost their, their majority now? Or they, are they are a minority government. Minority yes. government. Will anything happen on this? Well, unless we bring attention to it, I don't think so. Because what I told you before is, is quite true. Uh, nobody's talking about it. Mm -hmm.
if you t if you take a look at, uh, at, the, at, the, at the Greek banks that they assisted, they're not that different, and the Cypriot banks were not that different, their, their losses were not that different, and their portfolios were not that different from the Greek banks. So that's why I keep stressing in that, that a political decision was taken to treat us differently. It's not just that. We began this problem in 2008 because of the Lehman Brothers crisis that started in the United States. And then the problems transferred onto Europe, Greece collapsed. We collapsed with Greece because the Greek, uh, the, the Cypriot banks had 16% of the Greek market. We helped Greece by uh, haircutting the Greek debt. So we lost 4.8 4 billion euros. And then when it came to us, when it, came, uh, when it was our turn for assistance, mm -hmm. you know, we were treated like we are criminals. And uh, even worse than that, mm -hmm. uh, that instead of helping us, they took <laughs> our money to help somebody else. You had two problems. Well, the we had a lot of problems. No, so. but no, <laughs> why, the, why you were treated different? Yes. The first is, you had this money laundering thing, which, was, which was serious. There, there, were, there were a lot of accounts where the banks did not know who the beneficiaries were. That is no, that's not really true, because we had an investigation. Yeah, I, I know, I've read them all. I've the, read them the all. The investigation hasn't really shown that they, uh, there's more money laundering happening in Germany than in Cyprus. I'm all <laughs> so, and in other countries, and in Greece. And the second problem you had yeah. is, you had very few German money here. That is true, so because all the German money left, actually. Yeah. But there were German banks that had deposited money in, in the Cypriot banks, mm -hmm. because our interest rates were very high. Yeah. That is, again, because of Greece. Mm -hmm. uh, so they made a lot of money in the period between 2009 and 2013. And you can check this. They made billions. German banks, French banks, they had deposits in Cyprus, but they left. But they withdrew their they money in time. They withdrew their money, and that money was replaced by the emergency liquidity assistance. So uh, we got left with the bill. Mm -hmm. That is another scandal. Yeah, that one we covered already yeah. in the last film. I will send you a link if you, if you want. And I don't want to appear that uh, I'm blaming everybody else but us. Yeah. We made huge, horrible decisions and mistakes in this whole mess, and that's a, that's a given. But, you know, so did other countries, but they helped them. In our case, we made mistakes, but instead of helping us, they made things uh, worse for yeah. other interests. And that's what really pains us. Not a thriller, because in a thriller you have a chance of uh, surviving. This, no, is, uh, this was a disaster, a horror story. And it, li it sounds a bit like a conspiracy. Well, I'm not going to go so far as to say it's a conspiracy, but this was an agreement that was done in behind closed doors. And the true uh, results of the agreement were not imme immediately apparent to the people when the agreement was announced. Mm -hmm. we, we never knew that the, the branches in, in Greece would be sold in the manner that they were sold and that we would lose so much money. This was disclosed after we found out the details of the agreement. Mm -hmm.